I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. Good morning, church family, visitors and friends. I would like to take a moment to visit, to welcome the visitors that are joining us for the first time this morning. Whether you are just having a look or searching for a place to worship, we're delighted to have you worship with us this morning. We have the Beth Eden Baptist Church, the Mother Church of Morgan Park, located at 11121 South Loma Street. Our pastor is the Reverend, I mean the Dr. Reverend Craig M. Jenkins. We look forward to having you worship with us again. Thank you and may God bless you. Yeah. 
Good morning. My name is Alexis Wallace, and I'm a part of the Beth Eaton Senior Usher Board. Each morning as I see the light and know God has kept me through the night, I pray God guide my steps today along life's rough and rugged way. Lord, lead me in the paths you trod and keep me ever close, dear God. Don't ever let me stray from you. Just do the things you want me to. Beth Eaton, this is your charge for the week of beginning Sunday, November 22nd, leading to Thanksgiving. Due to the resurgence of COVID-19, the Sisterhood Ministry regretfully announces the postponement of the technology basics for beginners. This class, which was originally scheduled for Saturday, November 28th at noon, will be rescheduled for early 2021. Through thousands of churches, Prison Fellowship Angel Tree Program delivers Christmas gifts, the gospel, and a personal message of love to children on behalf of the mom or dad who is behind bars. It is often said it is better to give than to receive. If you would like to take a minute to call Beth Eaton Baptist Church, 773-233-6953 or 773-910-7178, you may purchase a gift for approximately $20 or $25 each and return this unwrapped gift by December 15th or drop off the monetary donation, we will see that 90 children in our area receive a present this Christmas showing the love of Christ. Join our Sunday worship service every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. by dialing 712-775-7035 Access code 709315 pound sign. Our prayer line is also using this number and it is open Monday through Thursday, 6 a.m., 12 noon, and 9 p.m. on Fridays from 6 a.m. and 12 noon. Please continue to support the obligations of our church through your tithes and offering. Your contributions can be given through Giblify, Zelle, your financial institution, or simply by depositing your donation in the church mailbox. The Beth Eaton Church family extends our deepest condolences to sisters Dolores Hayes and sister Donna Reed on the passing of their loved one, Mr. Marlon Reed. Two, Deaconess Beverly Hale in response to the passing of her brother, Mr. Edward Hale. To the families of Doris Campbell and Laura Washington. And two, Deacon Tina Bug in response to the passing of her sister-in-law, Glenda Bug. It is our prayer that God will hold them and enfold them during this time as we all embrace them. Stay safe and remember, follow the guidelines of the Center for Disease Control by wearing a mask in public washing your hands for at least 20 seconds, use hand sanitizer, and practice social distancing. So much to be thankful for this Thanksgiving week. We thank you, and may God continue to bless you. Good morning. I am Robert Lowe, a member of the Men's Fellowship. 
offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. My name is Gregory Hardaway II. Shall we pray? Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for blessing us and waking us up this morning. And please bless everyone over who's watching Facebook, over the Facebook Live, and bless people who are here in the sanctuary. And please just bless everyone and just let us have a wonderful Thanksgiving and just bless us and watch over us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
God bless you today. It is with great joy that we're able to hear a word from heaven as we prepare our hearts for Thanksgiving and family and friends gathering together, even in the midst of the challenges of having reduced numbers. It's still good to hear a word from the Lord. I've mentioned many times that we as a church are wonderfully blessed and that we have ministers of the gospel who God has gifted to be able to stand tall behind the sacred desk. Today, the preacher is Reverend Gregory Hardaway, who has been a part of our ministry for four years, and he's a preacher. He served as a pastor for 10 years, and he united with our church family a few years ago, and we're so glad about it. So I want you to enjoy this very special Thanksgiving Day message as it is brought to you and given to us as it comes from God by the Reverend Gregory Hardaway. Let the church say amen. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to you help me now? What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to time. What a friend, what a friend. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to Then I put my own twist on it. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. What about you? I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. 
Yes, I do. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity has been laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Can we just give God some praise while you're at home and in this wonderful sanctuary of God? He's worthy to be praised. I'd like to thank Dr. Jenkins, Pastor Jenkins, for the privilege to stand in this great church and to be viewed via live stream and to be able to preach unto you what thus saith the Lord, you who are here to worship God in spirit and in truth. With the upcoming holiday, following in this, after this Sunday morning, I want to share with you what God gave to me found in the 50th number of Psalms, verses 14 and 15. Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows to the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Giving to you what the Holy Spirit gave me, how to be thankful for this Thanksgiving season. How to be thankful. Pray with me if you please. God, for your glory and our edification, amen. Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows to the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. How? To be thankful. Well, it's Thanksgiving once again. A celebration that is derived from America's standpoint by the pilgrims who set foot on Plymouth Rock. And after all of their trials and tribulations, they were befriended by the Native Americans. And together they had a feast of thanksgiving. A feast of thanksgiving despite their differences of culture. Regardless of the language barriers and regardless of the newness of the customs, they came together in fellowship. And in 2020, in spite of all that's going on, we as believers of Christ are just like the pilgrims in that we too fellowship and feast with others despite our differences of beliefs, despite of some being wide members and some of them drinking a little, taking a little nip here and there, we still get together because everybody's welcome at mama and daddy's table. Yes, and the truth of the matter is we all need to realize that everyone has something to bring to the table and to be thankful for. However, as Christians, do we really understand how to be thankful? And ultimately, what are we thankful for? Yes, if I can just be real with you right now. Some of you who are viewing, you've already gotten your menu together. Already putting the nicks and knacks together for the sumptuous feast that you're going to have on Turkey Day. You know, that's what people are saying now because they're not as thankful as they used to be. Rather than saying happy Thanksgiving, folk are quick to understand. You go, blah, 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 blah. They'll get happy on that, but don't tell them that they've got to be thankful. Yes, in spite of the restriction of gathering order, some of you are already decided. You're going to go and defy that and have some folk over anyway. Yes, but that is a shallow feeling of thanksgiving because it, it, it's a present happening in your life just on Thanksgiving Day. A day that is celebrated once 
out of the year to give God thanks for his divine goodness and his divine mercies in our lives. The tragedy is, it's just one day. One day of thanksgiving out of 365 days of God's goodness. Implying that God wasn't around throughout the other 364 days a year. But the Bible is clear. It says, offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows to the Most High. I'm going to stop right there because we ain't got a problem calling on God when we need him. But we like to omit the thanksgiving part. And the Apostle Paul says in everything, give thanks. Huh? Let's just be honest. In spite of 2020 ups and downs, in and outs, we've got a lot to be thankful for. But I'm sad to report that it seems that believers are oblivious as to how we should thank God and what we should be thankful for. We must constantly meditate on God's goodness. Huh? You who are watching, you who are sitting here, think about it for a moment. Meditate. Some of us need to come to the realization about what Thanksgiving really is. Thanksgiving is an act or action of giving thanks. Giving thanks is a process of doing and speaking. I've got to stop right there and go back. Thanksgiving is a process of speaking and doing on an everyday basis. I don't care what the world says. Oh, it don't take all that. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. We as Christians give thanksgiving unto God by praising his holy name. By praising his mighty and merciful name publicly and overtly. Because we are giving God all the honor, all the glory and responsibility for his divine favor, for his divine blessings, for his merciful grace. I'm going to say that again because you might not get it outside of Beth Eden. We've got to thank God for all of his divine favor, his merciful blessings, and his abundant grace in our lives. We've got to give God his kudos. For you who are the erudite, you who are the intellectual, I'll give you a little Latin. His kudos, that means we've got to give God his praise. Huh? Praise God. We've got to give him his praise in a spirit of thanksgiving with our mouths. A spirit of thanksgiving with our hands, a spirit of thanksgiving with our body and our spirit because he keeps on blessing us in spite of ourselves. You know you'd have gave up on yourself, sick and tired of how you've been and how I've been, but thanks be to God. Hallelujah. New mercies day by day. Glory, hallelujah. Still, this Thanksgiving obligation to the Christian goes on still a little further. And that not only must we give God his praise with our mouths, but we've got to acknowledge God's favor and benefits of his blessings. Huh? We've got to do this through utterances of prayer and groanings in our heart that are articulated by the interceding of the Holy Ghost. Got to stop right there. If you ain't in fellowship with God, then you really don't understand the power and the fellowship and relationship with this Holy Ghost. Huh? It's relationship. On your journey, on this Christian journey, you got to work at this thing. You got to keep on trying. And as, and, and as you feel God tugging, you got to tug back. Give me some more. 
When he tugs a little more, you got to say, give me some more. How do you say that? Through prayer, through reading his word, through praise. Because when you boast about God, God will lift you up. Yes. And it's when the Holy Spirit in his oneness with the Trinity, he speaks on our behalf. The Bible says that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous See, I've got to stop right there. Fervent means you ain't just doing it when you're in trouble. Fervent means it's a daily thing. In the morning, I seek you. In the noonday, I seek thee. And in the evening, I call on your name. That's the first thing you have to do as a, a one, two, three rudimentary aspect of praying. Start in the morning. Thank you, Lord. This is the day. That the Lord has made in the new day. Thank you, Lord, that you allowed me to have some food. And in the evening time, now I lay me down to sleep. Woo! I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord. Yeah, that's what my mama and daddy told me. And it still works now. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, Men, and in 2020, women, and boys and girls should all always pray. Hallelujah. So my brothers and sisters beloved, we must out of the abundance of our hearts praise the Lord with thanksgiving. We've got to acknowledge God's favor and blessing through utterances of prayer. And finally, We've got to pay our vows to the most high almighty God. Huh? Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows to the most high. Huh? And call upon him in the day of trouble and I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. You might be wondering how? How can I give the almighty God anything? Well, you who are watching, you can start by just getting involved in your church. Huh? You can decide that you're going to do a little bit more for Jesus and let your light so shine before men that they might glorify your Father which is in heaven. How can you do more? Well, some of us, we're part of ministries and we really are a do-nothing member of the ministry. Pay your vow to the Most High God and honor your word. But for those of you who are just like me, you can even go further if you share the talents that God has blessed you with. If you can sing, sometimes sing to those who don't have a song in their heart. If you can draw or paint, paint or draw some sunshine into someone's stormy life. If you can cook, some of y'all can cook, huh? Cook something for someone less fortunate than you and serve it to them in love. If you can pray, hey, help somebody and pray them through the storm and show them just a little talk with Jesus will make everything all right. But one thing we all can do is witness and give God thanksgiving about how God has brought you, how God has made a way out of no way. Well, now that you know how to be thankful, I came by the grace of God to share with you some things that we should always be thankful for. We should be thankful for the truth of God. We should be thankful for the holiness of his purpose. We should be thankful for the agony Christ endured to bring us back to God. We should be thankful for the night in Gethsemane where Christ wept Hey, it went on anyhow. We should be thankful because God keeps you day by day. We should be thankful that he surrendered unto death to pay the price for our sins. We should be thankful that God gave his only begotten son as a living sacrifice. We should be thankful for the invention of mercy and salvation. We should be thankful for the value that God has placed on a sinner's soul. We should be thankful because he said it is finished. The pain of not being good enough, it is 
is finished. The sorrow for being left out and overlooked, it is finished. The pain, the hurt, the hate, he'll give you healing. He'll give you healing. It is finished. It is finished the suffering. Somebody ought to be glad because nobody, nobody, nobody could bring us back to God. I'm glad because this Thanksgiving, everybody should forget about yourself and concentrate on him. Ain't God all right? Can you give God some praise? He's worthy. He's worthy. Call on him. Call on him. Call on him. Hey, call on him. Hey, and he'll deliver you. And you'll glorify him. Every day is a day of thanksgiving. Every day is a day of thanksgiving. Won't you take the time to give God some praise? Glory! Hallelujah! Glory! Hey! hey he brought me, taught me, saved my soul. You owe it to him. Give him some praise. Come on, give God some praise. In this sanctuary, he's worthy. In your home, he's worthy. Because when you give him thanksgiving, when you call on him, he said, I'll answer and I'll deliver you. And then you'll glorify him. Hallelujah. The doors of the church are open. We offer Christ to you via this live stream. We offer Christ to you, my brothers and sisters. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. We offer Christ to you. I don't care what you've gone through, emotionally scarred, overlooked, looked over. Jesus is a friend that sticks closer than the brother. He'll be your mother. He'll be your father. He'll be your brother. He'll be your sister. Oh, won't you just come? Come on. This is a good time. Hallelujah. Come on to Christ. The call to discipleship has gone forth and still there's room. You can come and be a member at Beth Eden. I know folk here personally, they'll love you till you get yourself right and get to know Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise. We offer Christ to you. Oh, my brother, we offer Christ to you. Oh, my sister, he will give you brand new life. Life abundantly. Oh, come, hey, come on to Christ. Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows to the Most High. Call on him in the day of trouble, and he will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify God. God bless you. Let's, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah.
At the close of every service at Beth Eden Baptist Church, we have a benediction that we share. And what a time to share it because we know that the Lord is more than enough. The benediction is, may God be within us to refresh us, around us, to protect us, before us, to guide us, above us, to bless us, and beneath us, to hold us up. Now just point to somebody and say, I love you, in Jesus' name, amen. And remember that the Lord wants you to be saved. God bless you, in Jesus' name, amen. Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, it is. You know, it's been six months. It's good to be here. Just to hear the songs of Zion. Just to see one another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. But while praying on my knees, I heard the small voice speak to me. Stand still, my child, and concentrate on me, for it's already done, hallelujah, it's already done, thank you, Jesus, just stretch out on your faith, knowing I will make the way, receive your healing. Receive your miracle today If you only believe It's already done I have not seen Nor you have heard All the good things that are in store Open up doors, no man can close. You gotta keep the faith, never give up. He's worth it out for you. For you, oh, it's already done. Hallelujah, it's already done. Thank you, Jesus. Just stretch out. Oh!